Hi, I'm Warren Yates at YatesBanjos.com and today I want to give you a short look at how to make the long nut for a pre-war style coordinator rod. That is to face off your material to get it flat. I'm going in with a center drill, which is a very rigid tool, to start a hole with very little flex in order to be more accurately to the center. You can measure uh, another nut in order to get your dimensions and your depth. Uh, also, you can um, look at the thread you're going to use and get the appropriate um, bit and tap for it. much slower speed. You have to know your depth. Spanning is a typical problem. And if it does become too much of a problem then you can Put it on a vise and turn it on in by hand where you've got a little more control. I believe that's what I'll do. If you jam things up, you can break them, so I'm not going to push my luck. I do want to put a little chamfer on here. Such a quality. Okay. That's that side. Then we'll move it into where we can cut it off. And you can use measures. I'm just copying the nut that I have. Good idea to put something on here to catch it so that you can find it when you get through. Okay, and in the same way, thread the, turn it around, uh, thread the small end, say it again. And in the same way, turn it around and thread the small end. bit of chamfering, which I've already done. So once you have
taken your part and you've deburred it and you've verified that all the pieces go together, then it becomes a part just like the one that you were making. You're just ready now for the uh, cleaning up and the plating process. And that's the way that part is made. Till next time.